This time of year is a great time to do a number of different garden chores. And one of them is mulching. There's four reasons why you may choose to mulch here in the fall. And there are four reasons why you may choose not to mulch in the fall. So that's what we're gonna talk about here today. If you're a redhead like me, your number one reason to do this in fall is because it is a heck of a lot more comfortable. Uh, I don't do well in heat. I don't do well in intense sunlight. And if you have a disability, fair skin, or you're just very sensitive to it because your ancestors decide to move to a time and space that is going to be the bane of your existence, well, this is a good time to actually begin doing some of those heavy labor jobs, such as moving soil or moving mulch, you name it. So that's probably my number one personally. The other reason is because you can actually cut back your perennials and use those as a mulching system, which will increase your pollinator intensity, your beneficial predators in your space, along with providing some cover against the cool winter that is about to arrive. So in the spring, the perennial leaves or pieces of plants tend to not be ideal for mulching yet, but in the fall, everything begins to dry back. You can crumple things up, you can rip them down very easily, and right now is a great time to do that because it'll give you a look at kind of what your garden, is, where your garden is at, where your soil may be sitting, you name it. One thing to add, um, if you cut back perennials or even annuals and they have a hollow stem, this is like a bonus round because the hollow stem is where a lot of bugs will actually camp for the winter. Ever see those bug hotels with all the little holes in it? Yeah, that. You can make that in your garden by just cutting the perennials rather than leaving them in place or the annuals and just leaving them in place. You will increase your beneficial, my dog, that'll increase your beneficial insects a ton because it's going to give them a place to hang out. So the next one is just speeding up the process in the spring. Now mulch can insulate your soil and actually help keep the heat in that has been trapped in these later months of summer. And that heat being trapped is going to help perennials make sure they don't heave out of the ground, obviously make it through the winter, protect seeds if you're doing any fall planting. I have a video that's going to be coming out on that so go check that out because there's a lot of seeds you can actually start right now this year for in fall for next spring. Okay, so if you choose to go this route, there are of course negatives. And one of these negatives, your soil may choose to warm up a little bit slower in the spring. So you may need to actually remove the mulch to help speed up the warming process because the sun is what helps heat the soil. And if the soil is insulated against the sun with mulch, things to tend to warm up a little bit slower which is not ideal number two is if you have any seed sown perennials or you've broadcasted any seeds in the space that need light and low planting depth for germination so this can include wildflower seeds poppies you name it and these are important not to cover because it's going to be much more difficult for them to germinate properly and furthermore much more difficult for them to establish their root system properly and be much easier to rip out. So unfortunately, while it makes it easier to rip out weeds, it also makes it easier to rip out our pretty seed sown, naturally seed sown flower. So not ideal. Now, if we do this too late in the season, while some of our bugs are going to bed, such as our ladybugs, for example, you do run the risk of actually hurting them when you destroy where they decide to bed down. So if you're going to go the route of mulching in the fall, particularly with the natural plants that are in place, you need to seriously consider doing it earlier in the season or skipping using the physical plants and move into something that is an actual mulch that you purchase. Now, some of the best mulch you can use is anything with a larger surface area that is finer. I find that the best thing to mulch perennials or like garlic bulbs or seeds with is actually the much smaller particulate pieces versus larger size wood chips and stuff like that. So one way to actually make this happen easily and effectively is to use things like sawdust or Typha, which is a new Canadian brand that is a peat replacement along with a great mulch. Peat can also be used. When we use something that's smaller in surface area, smaller in general, it actually insulates even further. It helps with more moisture capture and it just overall gives us better results. So the more shredded your mulch is, 
even if it's a leaf, the more shredded the leaf is, the better the mulch tends to perform. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to learn more on how to compost, just doing one time loading. Yes, that's right, folks. I'm lazy. What can I say? Check out this video right here. And if you want to learn more about what Google thinks of you, that video is what they say you should watch. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.